Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Clone Commandos and Crabs, some more amazing new things that were recently announced at Mini Stravaganza for Star Wars Legion, the long-awaited and very much anticipated announcement of Clone Commandos finally being confirmed for Star Wars Legion. It was a very welcome announcement, met with uh, much, you know, who's and ha's and whoop whoops from the crowd. Uh, this is uh, definitely a uh, fan favorite type of unit that is coming to Star Wars Legion. And it's not just the regular clone commandos, but Delta Squad uh, from Republic Commando is also coming, including Scorch. And this is, I think this is one of those things that's more easily made possible uh, by the Bad Batch kind of uh, more heavily recanonizing clone commandos. Now, they did show up a little bit in the Clone Wars, but uh, with the Bad Batch having, you know, a lot more prevalence of clone commandos and Scorch uh, particularly, it's going to be pretty fun. We're going to talk about this a little bit. Also, the long-awaited crab droids. I feel like this is a, uh, a video where we're going to dig into some of the big fan service announcements that came out of Mini Stravaganza. If you guys are new here to the channel, we are doing a big giveaway right now that's running through Halloween. It's for a $100 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter win that giveaway is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, also want to thank today's sponsor, Luxury Playstyle. Amazing full metal tokens, uh, fully compatible with Star Wars Legion, as well as token sets compatible with other games like X-Wing, Magic the Gathering, and more. Head over to LuxuryPlayStyle.com and check out these tokens. They are absolutely gorgeous, and I use them in all of my games. They're wonderful. They're double-sided. They're shiny. They're really going to impress your opponents and your friends alike. Uh, check, the, check them out and use code CRABOCKVIP. While you're there, you can save 15% by using that code. Orders that use that code and spend $35 or more will get, while supplies last, a free Crabock token thrown into their order. It's got the C on the one side. It's got five on the other side for high damage count intervals. Also, makes for a great token to mark a commander. Otherwise, it was lightsaber nunchucks on there. Very cool token. Head over to LuxuryPlayStyle.com. Don't forget to use that code. So Scorch and the Delta Squad are coming, and it's not only them. It's also like the regular clone commandos, right? Like, so the, this is the image they gave us at Mini Stravaganza. So as we're talking about clone commandos, I feel like, you know, these two images that we've got are very telling. Uh, a couple of things I think that are very interesting about this is that it seems to me there's going to be a desire to paint them in multiple ways. So this is going to be a, probably an expansion pack you want to buy more than one of. Obviously, right? Like, not much of a prediction there, to be fair. I mean, like, oh my gosh, the most fan anticipated, you know, expansion of all time. People are going to want more than one of. Whoa, really great prediction there. But no, what I mean is, I think this is going to mirror in some ways uh, the some of the other expansions that we've seen for other factions, like the uh, the Inferno Squad and Clan Wren. And that it was a small elite unit. And I think that's what these guys are going to be. Obviously, I'm guessing that they're going to be special forces. I don't think that's much of a pre bold prediction or hot take either. They almost certainly are going to be special forces. But I think they're going to be special forces that takes the form of, uh, it, you know, basically, you know, uses the formula that we've seen already for, you know, for Clan Ren and also for Inferno Squad. And that you have these four that you can run. In a generic unit, well, it'll probably be three plus a heavy weapon. And then you will probably also have these three and a heavy weapon. But this will be probably um, like a Clan Ren style build where the Delta Squad is a unique. So you can't run more than one Delta Squad, but if you want to run Delta Squad and a generic Clone Commando unit, you can do that, or more than one Clone Commando unit. I, I imagine it might be a unit, uh, an expansion that has perhaps, you know, perhaps only four miniatures, but possibly up to six if there's going to be uh, six or maybe even seven. It, we, we, there's a lot they haven't shown us yet, um, but my guess is that it'll be four miniatures based on the fact that they show four miniatures in both screenshots. So... You know, both images. Uh, granted, this is not necessarily a render or capture. This is just our art. But it is a very cool piece. Um, especially for people who have played Republic Commando. 
or if you have been watching Clone Wars and Bad Batch and are kind of reminiscent for a lot of that old stuff of Legends to get brought back into the game. This is a super cool one. So uh, I, I also wonder if they're going to do Grigor. Uh, you know, he was a clone commando also in Bad Batch, and so I'm like, dude, you know, they could, they could might, might, might include him in there as well, but they didn't say that they were doing that, but that would be pretty cool. Um, so, I, you know, but then again, they could always leave the door open for, you know, for him to show up as another... Um, operative or something like that that maybe has an option to go in as a heavy into a clone commando unit like there's, there's a lot of cool little things that they can do with certain named characters so uh, but then again they may not want to do or they may not be able to do Gregor yet or Gregor um, because he is I always want to say Gregor and it's, it's you know I think when they, he's only ever called Gregor I don't know why I'm like Gregor we must have a Gregor and Reeks and Anak and Skiwalker. You know, I don't know why I do these stupid things. Uh, anyway, um, but the thing is, with Star, with Star Wars, a lot of things can be pronounced any different way you want. It can be at at or it can be at at. They both are valid. Although it's never at sit, it's only at st or or Chicken Walker. Well, I don't know where Chicken Walker came from. But before I get too far off into left field, let's bring it back into these guys. I think the problem with Gregor. Is that you know we we still are missing um, well potentially missing a little bit more. I think he might come back in future Bad Batch seasons because I think there's a little bit more story uh, on, on getting from where we are with like Rex Gregor and also Wolf by the way, um, and and where they you know how they kind of catch up to where we see them again years later in Star Wars Rebels, and so I feel like that's uh, a story that Dave Filoni is probably going to tell. And probably, you know, in the next couple of years. So they may have put a hold on saying, like, like, don't do Gregor right now. We have some more stuff we want to do with Gregor. So, you know, focus on the, you know, the other guys. And then we'll do Gregor in a few years. I don't know. That's my guess. As we, my guess is that we won't see Gregor here. But he, that doesn't mean that he's off limits. That he's probably just, you know, um, pushed back until, you know, uh, he, you know, shows up in the canon again a little bit more. That's, that's kind of what I think. But Clone Commandos obviously going to be really popular, very cool. They did already do Clone Commandos in Star Wars Shatterpoint. So Shatterpoint got them first, which had a lot of uh, Legion players kind of upset. But, not, you know, you don't have to be too upset because they're coming here too. And I think that's a good sign for a lot of the stuff that you might want that only is in one game. Pretty good chance it'll show up in the other game too, as long as you are patient. Speaking of things that people really wanted, Crab Droids are coming. Now, I, I'm going to let you guys in on a really big secret. Um... That, are you ready? Okay. The big secret is I, even though I am Crabok, I am not an advocate of crab droids coming into this game. I have no problem with them, but I had no opinion on it one way or the other. I don't think I ever once asked for crab droids. Doesn't mean that I don't think that they're cool or whatever. It's just that I don't. I don't. I don't even. Like, I don't even like crabs. Like, there was this Minecraft thing the other day, and my kids were like, oh, there's communities voting on what new creature they're going to add to Minecraft. And it's like, you know, this, that, that, and crabs was one of the options. Like, which one do you want, Dad? And I'm like, well, I want the penguins. I'm like, why didn't you pick crabs? I'm like, truth be told, I don't even like crabs. I don't like crab meat all that much. I don't like sea creatures all that much. I mean, they're okay. But I especially don't really like crabs. So I don't know why, you know, the name would make people think that I like crabs. It's just the strangest little thing, isn't it? Um, unless I see a crab with giant nunchucks, you know, taking down a city. And that would be really cool. But, uh, so, long story short, you know, th these guys are going to make a lot of people happy. I wasn't one of the folks that asked for them. So I'm like, I'm not like super excited about these guys because I feel like, all right, those spider droids that we just got, probably, it, it's it, like, I just don't feel like this is going to add potentially too much new stuff to the Separatists, but I do think that it can add something new. It's just that visually it's not going to look as different. I think a lot of folks will be like, okay, well, this is something very similar to something that we already got. Now, what are they going to do, right? Like, these guys were in a couple of episodes of Clone Wars. Also, they were um, background, but memorable background in episode three, uh, you know, at the at Utapau, where right after General Grievous and General Obi-Wan Kenobi fought, uh, and then all the clones came in, and then there was this huge fight, and a lot of crab droids on that battle. <clears throat> Actually, after they announced these guys, I went back and watched episode three again, and was like freeze-framing through to find all of the scenes and stuff like that. It was pretty cool stuff. 
Um, now, there were a couple different Crab Droid models. They said they went with this four-legged version, but I believe there were six-legged versions. There's some are larger than others. Um, and so, you you know, th this is the one that they're going with. This doesn't mean that they're going to do all of them as separate ones. I think this is the only Crab Droid we're going to get. Um, interesting thing, though, is that, that I, I do think we're going to be getting multiple gun options with these guys, as is sometimes customary with, uh, with supports. I fully expect this to be a support. Um, I think this one's going to be a little different than, than the spider droid, though, in that um, I don't think ranged attacks are going to be its, its forte. I think this one will be very uh, comparable to how a do-back works for the Empire. It'll have ranged options, but it's also going to be a really good melee option. It's, uh, you know, they, they, they can move really fast in short bursts, so I expect it to have some kind of, like, exhaustible or cycle uh, cycle type of speed three, like speed one normally, but then speed three every other turn or something like that. So it can move in. Might have charge. I can see it having charge. Um, this supposed to have twin light blasters, and uh, the the in the image that we get here, it looks like a single larger blaster. So that leads me to think that we'll probably have multiple different, um, you know, weapon options for these guys, and some and different uh, probably different gun sculpts that you can go on there. So you, when you're building it. Can probably pick however you want it to go. I would also expect that on the sprue you have a little bit of options with your legs for people that want to get multiple crabs. Maybe they're not all going to have that front left leg up in the air. They might have some extra options as far as the legs and the positioning of them. And even if they don't, that's pretty easy to kind of do on your own. You know, when you're just when you're gluing stuff in, you can just kind of angle it up a little bit or angle it down or file something, file a joint down a little bit so that the you know the 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 legs hit in different places, so you can have a little variation on your army of crabs. And uh, <clears throat> I'll definitely be getting these, even though I'm like, admittedly, I'm not super excited about this guy. I'm definitely still going to pick it up, and we'll do an unboxing, and uh, you know, and and we'll uh, probably run this alongside the spider droid just so that they are like, you know, creature, you know, I don't know, biological creatures, but they're actually droids. It's just a it's just a very weird thing, uh, but that's that was something that the separatists like to do, like the snail tank. You know, like they like to model a lot of their tanks after after little creatures, which is so weird. Um, I expect these guys to have a really strong melee attack, though, um, possibly even better than the do backs. I think they're going to be, uh, you know, like their ranged attack will probably just be barely good enough to help them on, you know, while they're preparing to move in and, and pounce on you. But once they get close enough, I'm, you know, they're definitely going to want to, you know, to, to, you know, to move in as fast as they can and, and get on top of you. I wonder if they'll have some kind of weakness, though. I wonder if they're going to have some type of weakness for somebody being here. It might be, <clears throat> it might be like a, uh, you know, how certain armored units have like a weak point in a certain quadrant. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys have a weak point for melee. The idea is, you know, how can you represent a, a clone trooper standing on top of a crab droid? It's kind of hard to do that. But if you're maybe in base contact with it, then maybe that's, you know, granted on his attack, he's going to be, you know, getting you. But, you know, when it's your turn, you know, if you survive that, then they jump on his head and then then they get the weak point bonus or something like that. That's another a guess that I might have. Um, I do expect we're going to get some previews of these units over the next couple of months. Um, a lot of this stuff is not going to be out this year. So if you are planning to pick up crab droids or clone commandos for uh, for Christmas or, or for the holidays, uh, you're probably going to have to wait. I believe all of this stuff is for first quarter of 2024. Uh, these will probably all be out or be spoiled. Now we might see some spoiler articles around the holidays that can sometimes happen. Uh, we honestly we could get them any day now. They could happen late October, November, or December. I think that's reasonable, especially if they were going to be launching around January or February. Then uh, we, you know then it makes perfect sense to get those spoilers out a little bit ahead of time. But uh, I do think these will all be out long before we get to Adepticon, which is where we're going to get the really big spoilers and the really big roadmaps for all things in the future. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you are most excited about. Definitely a lot of good stuff coming out for the Republic. They've been long overdue for some, you know, some new meaningful good units. I mean, you know, having Cody was cool, but he's not like, you know, it was just a small expansion. And they're getting a lot more between this and also... Um, 
gosh, they're also getting the Bad Batch and stuff like that. So there's like, there's a lot of, you know, and there's going to be a lot more stuff coming, I'm pretty sure, next year as well. So uh, very cool stuff. Plus, the Republic just got that Wookiee Battle Force, which, granted, if you're running all Wookiees, it doesn't feel like the Republic to me. It's like, no, it's a Kashyyyk. I'm, 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 I'm not the Republic. I'm Wookiees, you know. But <clears throat> technically, that counts as Republic, I suppose. I wonder if that's going to skew uh, numbers for like in favor of the Republic right now for people who are running all Wookiees, because I don't really think of Wookiees as Republic, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Also, big thanks to my patrons. You guys are out of this world and help make this whole channel possible. So thank you so much for your continued support. I will talk to you guys later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Always polish your armor and avoid crabs wielding knives.